Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November the 11th of 2019. Well, it is titled Lunar Craters Lagrinus, Langrinus, and Patavius. So what do we see here? Well, these are an, this is an image of the moon as taken from the Earth. And of course, we see a number of impact craters there on the moon. Uh, the moon is divided into a couple of different areas. There is the heavily cratered highlands, which we can see here has a lot of craters. And down below we can see a very darker, much darker area known as the Mar, part of one of the Maria. And those are less heavily cratered, have a lot, have more small craters, and are relatively more recent. Now the craters that we're looking at here are to the left, um, Langrinus there, and to the right, that is Petavius. Now those are the two main craters that we see in this image. They're relatively young lunar craters and in fact Petavius is dated to be about 3.9 billion years old. Now how does that come out being a relatively young crater when that goes back most of the way through the age of the solar system. Well it is relatively young for the moon as the heavy impacts occurred many of them occurred before that and we can see many other craters here that are much much older and in fact in between the two we can see the remnants the scattered scarred remnants of an old crater that now has many impacts scarring its sides and it has become quite worn, worn down. So this is an even older crater dating back to the very early origins of the moon. So the way we can determine some of this is a couple of things. We look at how sharp and fresh the crater looks. The sharper and fresher it looks, that is a very, um, relatively young crater. We can also look for remnants going out of it. And we can see ejecta, material ejected around, which is still present and hasn't had time to slowly wear down. And those are, again, signs of somewhat younger uh, craters. Uh, and we can also tell by looking at what is on top of one another. So craters that overlap another one, for example, some of the small craters that we see within Petavius are have to be much younger. They could not have existed before because the formation of Petavius would have wiped them out. So that would have wiped out those craters. So we can look at features that are overlapping each other and whatever is on top must have been what, what formed more recently. So here we can see a great image of the moon with a lot of detail, a number of craters, the two large ones there being pointed out, but a lot of detail and even a lot of smaller craters. We have to get an idea of what the size of these are. Well, the larger craters run about a, a little over 100 to 150 kilometers or so, which would be comparable to about 90 miles across. So those are relatively uh, good sized craters, but it gives you a sense of scale so that some of the smaller craters that we're seeing may be only five or 10 kilometers across. So we're still looking at rather large objects, rather large craters here on the surface of the moon. The smaller detail, we would need much closer images. And in fact, getting to the moon, either from the orbiters or from some of the landers to see even the much many smaller craters that exist on the moon as well. So that was our picture of the day for November the 11th of 2019. It was titled Lunar Craters, Langrinus and Petavius. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be spiraling sideways. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.